Okay, so we got through masking last time, um, and I realized I didn't have Galfit installed. So <clears throat> um, anyway, if I you know run through the the first uh, steps again, and then uh, select this image, the mask we made last time uh, is still available. So that's nice. Okay, so then uh, once we have that, so we have we've selected our image, we've made the mask. Now we want to run uh, some of the analysis. So here's our Galfit window again. We're a little uh, not ideal size wise. Um, and then we hit run Galfit. And so in the terminal window, it's showing you the output from Galfit. In the GUI window, it shows your galaxy, the model and the residual. So again, we can click on each frame, do the back quote to uh, make sure we're in, getting the full image there. Sorry, it's a little weird here. Um, uh, it also shows you then the fitted parameters, and this is a standalone module. Actually, you could you could run this uh, program by itself to uh, do Galfit. Okay, so um, so it looks pretty good. So again, this is a, an example where um, hitting the space S to uh, scroll, you know, get your contrast level set a little differently might be helpful. And again, you know, you have the whole range of the screen. I just figured it out so. Um, and then this guy, we could do sp space bar S again, and if you can see maybe a little better about the residuals, maybe not. So it looks pretty good. And then this is a model, just a single uh, component SearSig profile. So again, if we do space S bar and then stretch that around, there's not lot to see because it's a smooth model, right? So it's not no structure there. Uh, but then the fitted parameters are listed here. Eventually you can try and get this layout a little tighter here, but so it gives us our magnitude, the effective radius, the um, Searsic index, and the position angle. And it should be using the um, point spread function, right, as our model for the PSF, what it's, what it's doing the modeling. Okay, so when we're done with that, we just click close. And then um, these are other options for running Galfit with asymmetry or doing a two component. I'm not really using any of these now um, or this either, you know, with uh, running it on H alpha. It's just a little tougher. Um, if you look at the, how clumpy this is, it's tough for Galfit to figure out what to do with that. Okay, so uh, we can go into elliptical uh, foot. So there's two options here. So the first one will um, take the geometry that we just saw for that ellipse parameter that we saw for with Galfit, and then plot that down, do elliptical aperture photometry, and then also try and fit uh, profiles and all that. So we'll see what it does here. Okay, so for whatever reason right now, the plots are not popping up, but so it's showing us um, you know, different radii, isophoto radii that it's fitting on the galaxy. Uh, it shows them also in H alpha, and then it also shows some isophoto radius in H alpha. So it's a little confusing, but these two outer ones are based on the R band. And then, I don't know, I can't remember exactly what this is in H alpha. So it will plop down these apertures on H alpha and measure um, the photometry. And it may have done that already, actually. Let's look. Um... Yeah, let's see what it made. All right, I'll have to check on that. I'm not sure why. Oh, maybe it's all in the, uh... oh yeah, yeah, so it's a cutouts folder now. And that, I think, is where the profiles will be. Um, okay, so this is for the using the Galfit geometry, so it uses the Galfit center and ellipse and all that, and then fits uh, the profile. So this is the R band profile, this is H alpha, and then this shows them together. Um, this is the you know kind of curve of growth, so enclosed flux in R band, enclosed flux in H alpha, and then just also the surface brightness profiles. 
All right, so that's good. Then we can go back and um, at some point this used to just pop up automatically. And, and so something, some setting I changed in Matplotlib. But anyway, so then we'll do it again. And now it's going to do similar um, measurements and fitting the profile, but it's measuring its own ellipse. It's measuring the ellipse now from Fotutils. So we can look at this in a little more detail here. Zoom in just to see that those ellipses are really pretty close. So that that's comforting, right? That um, two completely independent profile uh, programs have fit the same shape. Um, I do think that it might be overwriting the images right now. I think so. So I got to fix that. So I think we're only getting one set of uh, profiles at the end, but they're going to look really similar. So, um, so that's it. And then you can kind of go through and start with the next galaxy. Um, and as you do that, it will um, <clears throat> start populating this data table, right, with all the measurements that we've made. So we'll stop there. Hopefully that's enough to get you started.